If properly administered, drugs provide much needed relief from pain and suffering. Their misuse can also, of course, cause irreparable harm to individuals, as tragically communities across America know all too well. And the trafficking of drugs can fuel horrendous violence and societal breakdown. Striking the balance between the availability of drugs for medical purposes and the prevention of their abuse and trafficking is a global challenge requiring international solutions. And it is why this month the United Nations General Assembly will hold a special session on the world drug problem, the first such high-level meeting in a generation. It's difficult for 193 countries to agree on much of anything, much less a topic as controversial as drugs. However, the United States is confident that we can significantly improve global cooperation at the UN session and advance a balanced approach that places greater emphasis on public health, prevention, and treatment. The United States has three overarching goals for this meeting. First, we seek reaffirmation of the three UN drug conventions. These treaties provide a solid foundation upon which international cooperation has been built and can further be strengthened. Second, as our understanding of drug dependence has grown, we seek greater emphasis on public health approaches to drugs, not just law enforcement ones. This balanced strategy recognizes drug abuse as a chronic disease and focuses on treatment and recovery. Finally, it is important not to turn our backs on combating transnational organized crime and those who traffic in drugs. They fuel violence in their communities, destabilize governments, encourage corruption, and are the major source of illegal drugs throughout the world. And for communities dependent on growing drug crops, such as opium poppy and coca, we must identify realistic, practical, and effective alternatives. The UN session is also a chance for nations worldwide to focus on emerging drug threats, such as dangerous new psychoactive substances, which appear on our markets weekly. They are cheap and easy to make, difficult to control, and spreading very quickly across borders. The United States believes that the three UN drug conventions facilitate international cooperation against such new threats, support the balanced overall U.S. approach, and allow countries discretion to pursue varying drug policies in line with their obligations. For example, the United States supports judicial reforms, encouraging proportional sentencing, and alternatives to incarceration where appropriate. Such reforms increase the chances of recovery and reintegration. Together, we can be effective in decreasing drug dependence and violence. What happens at the United Nations this month matters, for it will set the direction in how we confront cha the challenges posed by drugs, both in the United States and throughout the world for years to come.